This is your CBS 46 News update. Good morning, I'm Gravier Denza. The manhunt for an accused cop killer is now over. The suspect, Jordan Jackson, killed himself following a standoff with police. Jackson's accused of shooting a Henry County police officer. That officer died a few days after the shooting. Now, this is video of the suspect from Officer Paramhan's Desai's body cam before the shooting last Thursday. The officer was responding to a domestic call in Henry County. A tip led police to an apartment complex in Riverdale where they found Jackson hiding out with some friends. We're told he took his own life just seconds before police were going to move in on him. Right now, students and staff are mourning the loss of a Gwinnett County Elementary School teacher who was found dead in Mexico. 24-year-old Alexandra Morales posted this photo on Instagram the night before she was last seen in October in Mexico. Her brother says she was vacationing with friends, but it's still not known how she died. Morales was a first grade teacher at Benefield Elementary School in Lawrenceville. Now parents are trying to help their children deal with this sudden loss. Today, investigators and witnesses will continue to take the stand in the trial of the men accused of killing Ahmad Arbery in Brunswick. Yesterday, the prosecution described Greg McMichael as the ringleader in the moments leading to Arbery's death. The prosecution pointed out that uh, McMichael referred to Arbery as a suspected burglar, but that he never saw him and that he had no knowledge of him stealing from the home that was under construction where Arbery was jogging. Following Arbery's death, McMichael told officers he assumed Arbery was armed and that he would have shot him if he could have. As holiday travel gets ready to pick up, the world's busiest airport is moving its rideshare area. Today, Hartsfield Jackson International will announce the new pickup location for companies like Uber and Lyft. The location change is expected to go into effect this coming Monday. And today, the Georgia World Congress Center is hosting a dedication ceremony to honor Richard Jewell and other law enforcement officers who responded to the deadly Centennial Olympic Park bombing more than 25 years ago. Eric Rudolph planted the bomb that killed two people and injured 111. Jewell, who worked as a security guard, led police to the bag and started evacuating people out of the park. Richard Jewell died in 2007. A beautiful fall day on tap. Let's get the latest on the forecast with meteorologist Ella Dorsey. It sure is. We're starting in the 40s, but we're going to end in the 70s today with decreasing clouds. So it'll be another mild afternoon with lots of sunshine. Clouds will increase overnight tonight. We may see a few showers tomorrow morning, but it's really tomorrow afternoon after the time you eat lunch that a line of heavier rain moves through. That rain will keep things mild tomorrow. We'll be in the 60s tomorrow and Friday, but a major cold blast of air arrives for the weekend. Highs only in the 50s this weekend and next week. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.